In this um, video, I would like to talk about how to make a scatter diagram. Uh, in this particular, uh, I have a set of data here I grabbed from somewhere I forget where, and they talk about the number of hours that they process a particular um, mixture, and then they test the mixture for homogeneity, and uh, they wanted to know uh, basically if there's any relationship between the number of process hours and homogeneity. And so um, to create the scatter diagram, I highlight both process, I highlight both rows of uh, data, and then I go to insert scatter. And um, for this, I can uh, scatter with only markers. That's uh, probably the most useful one. And so I click on that, and here is the um, the amount of hom homogeneity versus hours. So homogeneity is uh, on the uh, left-hand uh, axis, and the number of hours is on the uh, bottom axis. Of course, you could always add labels uh, to do that. Now, sometimes uh, folks want to... Um, have a little bit more uh, idea of something's going on here. And you'll notice up at the top here that we have this little section called, excuse me, chart layouts. And what I want to do is I want to choose this. There's, there's a number of them in here. But I just want to choose the simplest one, layout three. When I click on that, what it does is it, it changes this round, uh, puts the changes it just a little bit, and then puts a <clears throat> trend line in here uh, for the homogeneity. And um, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to format that trend line. And what I want to do here is um, I want to display the equation and the R squared value on the chart. So I click close. It puts them here in the middle, which I don't like, so I'm going to drag that over here. And what I see uh, with this particular data is it gives me the line, um, the, the uh, you know, y is equal to, and so forth. And I get an r squared value of 0 0.0776. Uh, that r squared value is very small. And we would say um, that there was no relationship between uh, that data. You don't have to have that um, to, uh, you don't have to have the line to determine that there's no relationship when you look at the set of data points. That's uh, what you would conclude also. So that's how you create a uh, scatter chart in Excel. Uh, it's quite simple and uh, I hope you find that useful.